hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is heather i would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe Let's get that out of the way the annoying part because i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and i would really appreciate it if you were one of them today is going to be a different kind of video i'm not vlogging today today i'm going to be showing you everything i bought in rome i just went to rome with my school it was so fun i vlogged most of it so if you want to check those out they'll be linked down below go on my channel they're all there and i have a couple tiktoks you could go on my tiktok see those you know self plug so i'm just gonna show you everything i bought because i didn't include that in my vlogs wow it's so hot in my room because i had to turn off my fan because it was like messing with the mic so <laughs> let's just get into the hall before i keep rambling so i brought 150 200 euro to for spending money so that's kind of the price range that I was looking at for this stuff. So yeah, if you were wondering. The first purchase I made for myself that wasn't food in Italy has nothing to do with Italy, but it's cool that I got these in Rome, you know, um, was this crystal deck. <laughs> we went to a bookstore and I saw this and I was like, this is really cool. This was 25 euro, so a little pricey. Uh, a euro is like almost equivalent to a dollar. I think the dollar is worth a little less than the euro. I just kind of looked at it as if it was a dollar. And I was like, you know what? That's what we're going with. So 25 euro was this. And what it is basically is a deck. It shows you how to take care of your crystals and everything. And it has a bunch of crystals. Like this one is amethyst, as you can see. And on the back it has like its properties and appearance history and lore uses associations for like a bunch of different crystals so i thought that was really cool because i love crystals and i just thought it'd be fun to say i got this in rome if you don't know my favorite place on earth is salem massachusetts and i'm going in june so definitely subscribe if you want to see that but anyways the reason i said that is because i know i'm going to be buying crystals and now i won't have to worry about looking it up on the internet i could just look at that little crystal deck and see what i bought like what it means you know cool okay i don't need to explain it that much it's cool it's fun love that next these mini magnets i got so cute ew my one nail came off don't look at that this one is spaghetti and this one is aperol which is an alcohol that's really popular in rome like aperol spritz and stuff so i got these because i thought they were super cute they were 4.95 each with it which is a little expensive but when in Rome, nothing's really expensive. It's like you're on vacation mode. You don't care. I don't care. So I got these. They're so cute. I got these really cute postcards. And I thought these were so different than the ones you typically see. Like I feel like a lot of the touristy stuff. <sighs> a lot of the touristy stuff in Rome is like very like. A postcard is literally just like a picture a basic picture of like where you were but i thought these were so cute and different like these are drawings like i feel like these are like very like girly cottage core cutesy postcards you know um this is of the coliseum and this is of the spanish 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 steps then i also got two books because our hotel was very close to a really big bookstore la feltrinelli i said that's so american <laughs> it kind of reminded me of barnes and noble so i guess it's like that in italy um i got two books i got the this is a really popular book so i wanted to get it because first of all it really caught my attention and second of all i love cats so these two books just called to me um this one is before the coffee gets cold i'm reading this right now it's really good so far another book similar to that a little bit is if cats disappeared from the world i hope those are good so far before the coffee gets cold is really good next thing i got are sunglasses we got these in a store for five euro which was really good I just really liked this green i thought it was really fun kind of early 2000s vibes you know and then from that same store i actually found earrings that i thought were really cute i was really scared that my suitcase was going to be overweight coming back here but surprisingly it wasn't i was fine so i give myself props for that but anyways these are the earrings these were at 16.50 
and it just has little the little star ones the moon and then the stars i wore the stars already out to dinner one night and they are so pretty next is a food item Ooh, italian food ew why am i saying it like that i got linguine from a market uh yes i already started eating it so whatever linguine i love thick pasta so i wanted to get like a thicker pasta from italy it's good it's italian pasta obviously it's good my family surprisingly doesn't like thicker pasta i personally love a thick pasta like if i'm gonna have pasta i don't want it thin you know who wants that i need like substance you know and to go along with that i also got this spoon because i thought it was so cute it's a wooden spoon it has the coliseum on it and then it also has this powder that you mix in a recipe for carbonara bianca um which i thought was super cute the instructions on the back I have not tried this yet. I was waiting till this video because I didn't want to like unpackage it and everything. I couldn't wait for the linguine. I had to have some pasta when I came home. I was having like withdrawals. I was like, I need something, but I have not made this yet, but I'm excited to. I don't know if it's good. I hope it is. It's probably good, but like you never know. From that same market, there was like different vendors. So um, at one of them, I got a beret, had to do it. Um, my friend Gina was getting one and I was having major FOMO so I wanted one as well this was 20 euro it was kind of expensive but we wore them to dinner one night and we absolutely killed it also I got this cat scarf to wear with it it was a look for sure this scarf was I believe 20 euro as well thick and I love like cat things it's giving that one scene in starstruck you know Okay, anyways, next, 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 next. Then we just went into like one of those like typical like street shops that are kind of like, like, you know, the ones that you see in New York City. It's like all like the touristy stuff. It's like kind of like run down, a little scary. Those are the shops where they have the best merch. First thing I got is this cute hat. I love this color green is like becoming one of my favorites. This and like sage green. I love Purple will always be my favorite, but like besides that, I've been loving green. I got this cute hat for eight euro. Not bad at all. It's very cute. I will be wearing this in the summer for sure. <sighs> Why did I just do that to ruin my hair? In that same shop, I found this really cute t-shirt. I wanted a shirt or a sweatshirt, but I didn't want something super basic. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. Il Cafe in Italia and it says all the different coffees you could get in Italy and I just thought it was really cute especially because at the time I was a barista I no longer am but I still have a love for coffee so I think that's super cute in that same store I got this adorable little keychain for two euro it's this cute little car it's this teal little car and it says Roma on the front and the Italian flag and I just thought it was precious. I love the color of it and I saw it in the window and I had to get it. A lot of the side streets in Rome, cars drive down and it's like this big. So it's like here's you and here's the car coming right next to you. So a little fun memory of almost getting run over is buying a little car keychain. The next thing I got I'm so excited about is this cats of rome ca calendar i actually bought this for one of my professors last year and i was so jealous i was like why didn't i get it for myself so i did this year a bunch of different cats on the back in rome and i love cats um and there are a ton of cats that just roam in rome that walk around rome cats are everywhere and i am obsessed i love it so yeah, had to get that. I got this rainbow tote bag. I got this gay tote bag for myself. Eee. I don't know if, I don't know what the rainbow flag stands for. I thought it was for like pride when I first went to Italy, but I think it means peace. Like it means different things, but to me this means gay. So I bought it because I'm gay. This will be perfect for June. It was only four euro and it was in a shop that I don't remember had to get it we love that and then the last thing i actually didn't buy in rome i bought it for rome i bought this months ago um i got this photo 
binder basically to put photos in as a memory um from this trip so it's kind of ugly but like it's fine the pantheon the coliseum and the trevi fountain on it it's italy and on the side i made it say heather's trip to italy 2023 and on the back it's this cutesy map of rome it's not like a typical map of rome it's like cute and cartoony and cute colors so yeah i got this i'm gonna buy those like clear photo sleeves binder sleeves from amazon and print all the pictures that i took and put it in here so yeah that is everything that i bought in rome if you want to see what we did i did vlog like most days so i have three vlogs from that trip i will link them down below they are also on this channel you can easily find them they're all there my personal favorite is the osteo one it was very funny a lot of it was like raining and super windy and nothing was going right and i thought it was hilarious so highly recommend watching that one if you watch any of them yeah anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i appreciate you i love you thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye